Hello, Assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to another video and today this video is on how to set the motherboard BIOS settings or UEFI dual BIOS settings of your motherboard to get a Hackintosh working. Today I will tell you the basic BIOS settings you need to get your Hackintosh working. So one of the most important settings is here. You have to go into the BIOS features, go reel down. Disable the fast boot. It's not a hundred percent compulsory, but it benefits a lot of times. So it's better if you are new to the Hackintosh. So you can dis uh, if you are new to Hackintosh, you must disable it at the first point. Limit the CPU ID maximum. Uh, disable it as well. Execute disable bit. Enable it. Intel virtualization technology. Enable it or disable it makes no big difference. But I will prefer you to first disable it for installing. But if it makes no dis uh, problems, you can just enable it. In Windows 8 features, if your motherboard supports Windows 8 or Windows 10 features, select other OS instead of Windows 8 or Windows 8 WHQL. And then go down in boot menu, in boot mode selection, select UEFI only. Select UEFI only. And in LAN PXE boot options, ROM, disable it. In storage boot options control, select UEFI first. And other PCI device ROM priority, select UEFI op ROM. Network stack, disable it. Then go to the peripherals. In peripherals, if you are using a graphics card for NVIDIA or AMD, the initial display output should be your PCI 1 or PCI 2 slot. In XHC mode, the most preferred is using the auto instead of smart audio. But in worst case, you have to select manual because sometimes your USB mouse or keyboard stop working after the BIOS boots into or if, you're, if, if it goes to the operating system and give random stuck errors or it won't boot many of the times, then you can just go to the manual and in XHCI pre-boot drivers enable it root USB 2 point pins to which HC you have to select EHCI if the USB mouse and keyboard stop working after the BIOS or after the booting of the operating system enable USB 3.0 pins select enable all pins let me move the mouse away. In audio controller, you can select auto, enable, or disable. In Intel processor graphics, if you're using Intel processor graphics, then you have to enable it and you have to select the memory as the max available and DVMT total memory size to max as well. But if you're using a graphic card, I will prefer you to just disable it. In Intel uh, Rapid Starts technology, enable it. Legacy USB. Uh, support enable it XHCI hands off enable it EHCI hands off enable it and then we can go to power management and then you can go to memory settings and you can select the extreme memory profile if you have a extreme memory profile supported RAM and that's all you need for uh, Hackintosh BIOS settings and it's not really hard and if you have uh, the motherboard which have different options for the hard drive you connect to your system which is SATA configuration you have to go to the SATA configuration and here in SATA mode selection you have to select AHCI instead of IDE or RAID so select AHCI and enable all of your hard drives and then in Super I will just leave it as it is and just leave the Intel Smart Connect technology as it save and continue. That's all you need for bar settings for installing a Hackintosh.